इमरान खान से सख्त सवाल करने वाली जर्मन खातून एंकर को कत्ल और रेप की धमकियां मिलने का इंकशाफ चेयरमैन तहरीक इंसाफ इमरान खान से सख्त सवाल करने वाली जर्मन टीवी डीडब्ल्यू की एंकर मलिसा ने दावा किया है कि उन्हें रेप और कत्ल की धमकियां दी जा रही हैं खातून एंकर मलिसा ने इमरान खान से सख्त सवाल पर मुश्तमिल इंटरव्यू की पोस्ट करने और कमेंट्स का ऑप्शन बंद करने के सवाल पर खातून एंकर मलिसा चिन्ह ने लिखा कि मुझे रैप और कत्ल की धमकियां मिलती हैं इसीलिए मैंने कमेंट्स ऑप्शन ऑन नहीं किया वाजह रहे कि गुजशत रोज मलिसा चिन ने इमरान खान से इंटरव्यू के दौरान पूछा था कि आप तहरीक अदम एतम के बायस गए इकतदार की वापसी के लिए शहरत को बतौर हथियार इस्तेमाल करके इस्लामाबाद की तरफ मार्च कर रहे हैं क्या ऐसा करके आप खुद को अमरीकी ट्रंप ब्राजील के बुलसो नहरो और फिलपाइनी रोड रेक्स डोटेटे की फहरिस्त में शामिल नहीं समझते इमरान खान ने सवाल का बर रास्त जवाब नहीं दिया था और कहा था कि एहतजाज मेरा कानूनी हक है और उनकी हकूमत इलेक्शन नहीं ऑप्शन के जरिए हटाई गई मिस्टर खान आई वॉन्ट यू express how your march has looked beyond Pakistan's borders. Uh, I'm sitting here in Berlin. Uh, you left office following a no confidence vote. and now you're marching on on the capital uh, choosing not to wait for the election uh, so to some to some it doesn't look like a protest it looks like an attempt to take back power and uh, that you're using populism to do so from the outside there are critics who say that this is reminiscent of the likes of Jair Bolsonaro in Brazil Donald Trump in the US Rodrigo Duterte in the Philippines or or Bang Bang Marcos Jr now in the Philippines would it be fair to include you in that bunch Okay, well, listen, point number one. Uh, marching to the capital, what is called a march. There were three long marches against me when I was the prime minister. We didn't stop them. We didn't think it threatened my democracy because peaceful public protests are part of democracy, my right. So, firstly, it is within the constitution. It is when you feel... that there is something wrong going on as a democrat it is your right to protest like you do in germany and all over europe secondly my government was removed not some constitutional or legal way they paid a million dollars of of black money was spent to buy 20 of my members of parliament it was straight forward something illegal I mean if you it was an election it was auction they were they were buying our MNAs and it was not hidden the whole country knows the going rate when this with the spend on my members of parliament so that is unconstitutional so it was my right to protest secondly the people who have come on imposed on us 61% of them are on bail 60% of the cabinet is on bail on corruption cases and what they have done is it, while the economy has gone down they have given them some immunity from corruption this doesn't happen in a democracy so what we are doing is our right to protest against the injustice that is going on in this country that they 5 billion dollars worth of corruption cases which they were supposed they are they are charged with they have given them some immunity so that's one of the reasons why we are marching because it is in which democracy does it happen can you imagine in germany that a, a, a bunch of legislators come in and have the uh, corruption cases waved off by passing a legislation it can't happen anywhere so you're talking about corruption but i go back to the fact that you were in power what would you have done differently if you're talking about so many people who are corrupt do you have any regrets from your leadership your prior leadership in terms of um uh, not being able to tamp down corruption the way that you're you're talking about right now Well Melissa one regret uh, I came in with a thin majority a coalition government weak government and what I did not what I could not do was impose rule of law corruption is a, is is it a symptoms when there you do not have rule of law rule of law means when you have powerful crooks who are above law 
which is what has happened now. These people who've been plundering, these ruling elite, who've been stealing money for 30 years, who have massive corruption cases, have come into the parliament and waved off the corruption cases. So what I could not do is that the accountability bureau was not controlled by me. It was controlled by the establishment. Got and it. so I did not have the power to bring the big crooks under the rule of law. And I could not hold them accountable. And so, I, so you're ineffective. I mean, the reason why developing world is poor is because the ruling elites are above law. And I couldn't succeed in bringing them uh, under the rule of law.